We're looking at the domestic commodities market and today our focus is on sugar as the domestic price continues to decline. Aisha Bello, research analyst with Financial Derivatives Company, joins me now. Hello, Aisha. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Chimezi. So the domestic um, price of sugar has decreased by 6.88% to about 14,900 naira in one year. And what are the key drivers of this price movement? The domestic price of sugar has declined from 16,000 naira to 14,100 naira per 50 kg in the last one year. You know, this was driven by a decline in global prices of sugar. You know, there's been increased health awareness towards um, sugar-related diseases such as obesity. And um, whereas we've seen high loss from major producers, as a result of this, you know, we saw decline in global prices by approximately 27%. And this has reflected in decline in domestic prices. Now, we've seen uh, dominant players in the sugar industry, such as flour mills, uh, Major PLC and Dangote Sugar PLC recording declines of approximately 40% in their bottom lines. Uh, what could be responsible for this? Uh, perhaps could it be because of the price decline in um, sugar prices? Um, firstly, you know, there was a decline in gross revenue across board, mainly, for, mainly due to, you know, firstly, congestion at the Lagos ports. Secondly is the, you know, the intense rivalry between players in the industry. And lastly is the decline in global prices. And this has resulted, you know, in a uh, decline in the bottom line of major players, such as um, Dangote Sugar and Flower Miss Nigeria. Now, according to the United States Department of Agriculture, Nigeria's sugar production for the 2018-2019 marketing year is estimated at about um, 80,000 tons. Meanwhile, annual demand is estimated at 1.6 million tons and imports are estimated at 1.5 million tons. How does this reality resonate with the self-sufficiency goal of the present administration? You know, um, different incentives are, in play, are put in place to attract investors in sugar value chain. Um, you know, incentives such as a five-year tax holiday, you know, a 10% import duty, and um, a 50% levy on imported refined sugar. However, you know, challenges such as land acquisition still persist. For Nigeria to, you know, be self-sufficient in sugar production, you know, the, the government has to implement strict measures with proper monetary in order to boost local production and meet up with the demand. All right, thank you very much, Evan, for your time. Aisha Bellu.